Denning. Darren Curtis. Danny Savage. Adam Crump. And we're Homeless Hill. All four four seven. Yep. It's all of us here. We are a uh, a powerhouse rock and roll group from uh, right here in Middle Georgia. We uh we like to rock faces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there on the table and let it be. But the reason the band's cool is because I'm in the band. So like, I mean, so that that's pretty much like the most I have to say about it. But I will say that I think this is Travis Denning, by the way, the lead guitar player. <laughs> I have the driest sense of humor you will ever so, hear. Um, it's offended some to people. the proverbial horn there. Some people. Some people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like bass players. Yeah, let, me, let me just say first, before Adam even says this, <clears throat> when I started up Homeless Hill, I, my first move was to call a bass player. I had to find a bass player, and I'd play with a few guys. and um, You know, we I had some things, you know, in the works and that were kind of going, but, you know, Adam and I were in our first band together, um, which, no comment <laughs> about the first band that we were in together. Um, but... At the same time, it's a learning experience. It's a learning experience. Um, anyhow, we, uh, <laughs> you know, I called Adam and I, ha I hadn't talked to Adam in a long time, and I was just, you know, a year. Yeah, a year probably later. a year. <laughs> I had not even spoken to him, um, but I, I just called him up one day. And I was like, "Hey, man, you know, like I've got these songs that I want to record. Um, you know, you want to come learn them, and you know, maybe play a few gigs with me." Actually, I think the first time I called him, I said. We gonna play a gig with me tonight, and he was like, like, he's like, what? Can you learn ten songs about tomorrow? Yeah, to play? yeah. I mean, it was it was really last minute, but like, Adam's like, all right, you know, whatever. Adam didn't care. He was he just wanted to have fun and, and play some music. He hadn't done it in a while, so I called him up, and um, you know, we improvised you know a few tunes at a, at an open mic one time, and man, we just we just hit it off again and started started going at the music full blast. Adam and I had rehearsed the songs hundreds and hundreds of times before we even called Danny. So the way it all worked out is me and Adam were like this well-oiled machine. Da Danny shows up and, you know, my tape recorder. Yeah. And records <laughs> it. Like and a it, notebook and a pencil. And I was like, we yep, didn't do and that. Then, and then like it was, you know, so we, we started off as being a tight band and then we add Travis and it's just like the icing on the cake. But um, that's what I would say as far as that. Yeah, that's the best way to put it, I think. It just completes everything. Yes. You complete us, I guess. Yes. And I would call it a chocolate icing because I don't really care for any other kind of icing. <laughs> the women seem to like us for kids. some reason. I don't know. Well, if you want the answer to that one. <laughs> Maybe it's the hat. I don't it's got to be the hat. <laughs> for some reason. But, uh, I don't know. Again, I'm going to throw it out there on the table. <laughs> but, uh, it's definitely not Travis. I right, definitely right. think it's the... Uh, Left-handed guitar player of the band <laughs> that brings the lovely women. Uh, but I think I think Danny says a cool thing. Like I, I think the fans are. Uh, I don't even like to say that we have fans. I think like the people that show up. I like I consider them friends. You know. And oh like, yeah. And so like and so I'd like to say that we have a very nice friend base. You know. And like and I think that's truth because I mean if you can come out and spend your money to see us and you are a fan. That's some of the closest people I, you know, I can relate to. Well, some sure. some of the out of town shows that we played, and when we return and play there again, um, you know, we'd have the same people that, that saw the, saw us the last time. They'd be like amazed that we remember them. But like, we're just people, just like everyone else. I mean, we remember faces. <laughs> I mean, we're people. Yeah, we are. We you know. I think just about anyone that's uh, willing to jump up front stage and and uh, really get into the song and, and feel the song is either a homeless ho hottie or a homeless ho homie. I've also noticed that homeless homies and homeless hotties like all together are a lot better looking, smarter, and just more attractive than the general population of <laughs> non-homeless hotties and yes. homeless homies. So that means if you like homeless hotties, you're better than everybody else. You are good looking. <laughs> So, something to think about. <laughs> it's the hat. It's the hat. Oh, man. I, think, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, Wait, are like, you just in the <laughs> The no, people the hat. Like, What's the difference? The, yeah. <laughs> the people who, yeah, I mean, like a homeless homie, homeless homie and a homeless hottie. 
I mean, yeah, those are, I mean, just good people. Like, they come and hang out, and they enjoy rocking out. And, like, to me, like, when we play and, like, those people are out there hanging out and jamming and enjoying it, it's, it's, uh, it's more, I feel like I'm just hanging out with them, you know? Like, it doesn't, and I think that's the thing is, like, there's a straight on, just, like, same level kind of approach, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, the first CD was basically, like, me and Darren and Danny just, Spending a summer like making things up, yeah, and that was and, set it on fire, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and like pretty much every every song we made up for the new city has been like my favorite song as we made it up. Yeah. So basically, the last three or four songs we made up have been like my favorite songs. We've really matured in the process. Yes, evolved completely. It's not it's not even the same sound as the first record. It's um. And let me just say this about, the new, about the new songs. No, no, no. <laughs> I can honestly say that the most I contributed to the writing process was like one lick in one song. <laughs> so, like, when they say they matured, that's truth because it wasn't like, oh my God, this guitar player got in and we started writing great songs. Like, it was the fact that over a, you know, like a, what do they call it, a timeless tradition or something of just like, Pounding out, yeah, it got to that point. Well, it's know. like you take something good and sprinkle a little Travis on top, it makes it a little bit better. I see us in a couple years, and this is no joke, in a van, probably not making the best money in the world, but playing pretty much all over the United States. And like, I think that's like the way that it's going to, I think that's the way that it's going to happen. I was thinking yeah. tour bus instead of van. Well, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. That's right, let, let, me, let, 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 let me rephrase this. In a year, we might be in a van. In a couple years, tour yeah, bus. I'm I think we're about to find out what Homeless Hill really means. Well, I hope. <laughs> I think we, we can all agree, and none of us can tell the future, but we all agree that we definitely want to take it as far as we can take it. It's like people just sell out for anything these days. <laughs> oh, these are good, but they are good. <laughs>